What's up guys? Welcome to the Chess Giant. This is Solomon Riddell. And for today's video, I've compiled five of my favorite fun facts about Fabiano Caruana. This Italian-American Grandmaster has had an amazing career, and he's only 27, so it's far from over. But right now, I want to celebrate some of his greatest highlights so far. Make sure to hit the like button if you're a fan of this video and channel. Around 84% of you watching this are not subscribed, so if you enjoy chess content, I'd love if you would consider hitting that subscribe button, and maybe even going above and beyond by hitting the notification bell. Right now, let's jump back in. At number 5, we have the moment Caruana became a grandmaster at the age of only 14 years old, which at the time shattered all previous records in both Italy and the United States. He started learning young, showing skill at the humble age of 5, and started learning under the famous chess coach Bruce Pandolfini, and the rest of his story has become modern chess history. At number 4, we have Caruana's victory at the 2014 Cinquefield Cup with a score of 8.5 out of 10, and his finishing of the tournament with a 3103 performance rating. Keep in mind guys, this was one of the strongest chess tournaments of all time, as it held 6 of 2014's top 10 players in the world, including Carlsen, Aronian, Vichir Lakrav, Nakamura, and Topolov. Caruana kicked the tournament off with an absurd 7 for 7, drew the last three, and gave us one of the greatest recorded tournament performances of all time. At number 3, thanks to his Cinquefield performance, we have the moment Caruana hit the rating of 2844, cementing himself as the third highest rated chess player of all time, now sitting only behind Gary Kasparov and Magnus Carlsen. As I released this video in 2020, Caruana has a rating of 2835, a mere 16 points away from Kasparov's peak of 2851. Do you think Caruana will ever surpass Kasparov's rating? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. At number 2, we have Caruana's universal playing style, his strategy of tracking down and utilizing the best move in front of him, and keeping himself well-rounded in all areas of the game. As a child, he played with extreme aggression, loving to sacrifice pieces as he hunted down the enemy king. However, he soon realized that to compete with the very best, attacking chess was not the only style he could rely on. He had to develop other parts of his game, such as good pawn structure, defense, maneuvering the pieces, end game theory, etc. And the one thing I've noticed while studying his modern games is that there are no longer any obvious weaknesses. He is prepared for anything that can be thrown at him and has a very good feel for the whole experience of playing good chess. And lastly, at number one, we have Caruana's achievement of becoming the first American chess player since Bobby Fischer to challenge for the world championship title, playing against Magnus Carlsen in the 2018 championship. While he did end up losing to Magnus in the tiebreak segment, Caruana played brilliant high-level chess throughout the whole match and left all of us back home in the United States and Italy very proud. He is easily one of the highest performing individuals the game has ever seen, and he's still young at 27 and far from done with playing excellent chess. I am excited to watch his career blossom, I'm excited to keep learning from his strategies, and I'm excited to continue breaking down his games and moves here on the chess giant. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, thanks for tuning in, and as always, I am wishing you guys an awesome day. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to watch another one, you can click or tap up here. And I've got a lot more high quality chess content on the way. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can click or tap down here. I really appreciate your support.